A man walks into a bar, and the bartender says, Why the long face? Well, says the man, I tried installing Roblox shaders, but it took too long and it was way too difficult. Well, not in this video. Once you click on the link in the video description, it will send you to this page. Then click on the download icon over here. Trust me, I found this page confusing too in the beginning, but after looking for a while, I finally found the button, so just click on that. Then click download anyway, and click on save file, and then OK. Now open the folder, and all you have to do is click on the setup file, and it will show you the installer. Just hit next every single time, but when you get on this screen, you can select the quality that you'd like. I highly recommend you click install all. Now, when you open Roblox, you'll see this pop-up on the top of your screen. It will ask you to press home on your keyboard, so do exactly that. The tab will open and click skip tutorial. Now go over here to default preset and click Zeal's Reshade Preset Ultra. The Ultra version is the best preset that I've found on the internet so far. Oh, there's someone in front of me. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> You're not supposed to be in this tutorial. So as you can see, everything does look a little bit better and sharper, but you still cannot see the reflections or the ambient occlusion. So the way to fix that is very easy. Press escape, then hit settings and go to graphics quality and set it to eight. And now you can see the beautiful reflections, depth of field and shadows. My game is lagging really bad because my uh, computer isn't actually good enough for my own shaders. Now I'll also show Extravi shaders as a comparison. As you can see, there's a lot of reflections, and although these look good in indoor sceneries, outdoors that doesn't really work. For example, the snow next to this train looks really reflective, but in reality it's a lot more diffused as you can see in my shaders. This is another really good showcase for comparison. Now I want you to take note on the textures that you see on this lamp over here. As you can see it's very detailed, and these shadows over here. So now this is Extravi's preset, and as you can see, the reflections are a lot more intense, there's much less shadow. And something else that you can see are these shadows over here that you're not really supposed to see because there's fog over here. You don't actually see this in my shaders. Of course, if you do prefer his shaders, then feel free to check his out. But I'm just showing you for comparison. Now, I will show you a comparison in another game. The description of this game says, put your graphics quality on 10 for the best quality. But we, of course, know better. So as you can see over here, you can see a lot of reflections. It kind of looks like everything is just wet. Now I'll just select my uh, own preset. And as you can see, the reflections are much softer. I can also see a little bit more bloom. You can actually see more of a 3D-ish texture, which I think looks really cool. Now, you might not always want to see these shaders. So there's actually a way to disable them really easily. What you do is you press home on your keyboard to open reshade. Click on settings, and next to effect toggle key, you'll see a text field. Click on that, then hold alt and press home on your keyboard. So if I now press alt and home on my keyboard, as you can see, the effects have turned off and I can just turn them on again whenever I like. And now I'll end the video with a few before and after comparisons. It's also good to know that I keep the shaders regularly updated, so the shaders actually get incrementally better over time.